Hey guys, I'm doing some research on Markov models and stock trading. <clears throat> I'm using Meta's Llama AI to do some of the work for me, and I've got some fascinating notes that I want to share. So Markov models and Markov chains, this is what made Jim Simons of Renaissance Capital a fortune. This is probably just one of many of the models that they use, but Markov is interesting because it takes the current state of prices to predict the future states, not based on the past, but based on the current present state. So what we're trying to figure out is if we are currently rising, like let's say we have a green day or a green month, what, what is the odds that we continue to rise or begin to fall or, or go neutral? And then the other probabilities it'll calculate is what if it's falling what are the odds that it continues to fall or changes state now very fascinating but the problem is you you can't just make up probabilities you need to calculate and get some good real data and one of the ways to do it is to punch it in to ai i'm getting the data from yahoo finance and just copying and pasting this S&P data into Llama and letting them figure out what I'm looking for. I did the I did the weekly and I did the monthly and let me show you what I got. So the first one is the monthly and here's what I here's what I prompted. I said, "Using my data below, can you build me a Markov model?" probability set for the future months based on the data please calculate the probability sets for months where it's rising greater than one percent falling greater than one percent and the neutral month is a month between negative one and positive one and as you can see i pasted the monthly data and here's what it spit out so if you have a rising month the odds of another rising month is 64%. So probability of continuing to rise 64%. That, that's, that's awesome because any stock you want to track, any commodity you want to track, any, any Forex currency, any crypto, you can do this and it just takes the data to calculate how frequently it's rising when rising or falling when falling or neutral when neutral. When it's neutral, there's a 39% chance when you have a neutral, slow, boring month, there's a 39% chance that the next month will also be boring. And there's a 35% chance that it starts to rise. When you have a month that's falling greater than, than 1%, there's a 41% chance that it continues to rise. You're in a bear market. And that makes a lot of sense. But what's interesting is if you want the most high probability, the biggest chance of success when you see a rising green month that's when you want to be investing that's when you want to catch a trend let me show you the weekly data same thing i prompted markov model for this rising set plus one percent minus one percent and the neutral between one and one negative one and one and then i punched in the data and this time Similar results, but rising on the weekly time frame is a little slightly less probable, 59% in this case, and falling, falling, 43%, neutral, neutral, 43%. So if you're looking for, for bullish rising moves, wait for the current state to be bullish. And that makes, that makes sense. A lot of us try to catch falling knives, right? So don't don't do that. Wait for a green bar and then you can start expecting more green bars. That's what this information is telling us. And we actually have numbers to quantify it using real data. If you have a, a stock that you're trying to do analysis on or crypto or or Forex, this might be a great way for you to save a lot of time and do some statistical analysis using AIs. And I'm sure all the models will probably be able to do it. I happen to use Meta Llama, but uh, I'm sure you can use any of the models. Cheers.